Hi everybody, it's Robert Jones, and I am feeling motivated today. I'm having some friends over tonight for a meeting, and I am going to be making a delicious charcuterie platter for them. There's going to be a cooking video on how to do this. I'm feeling inspired from uh, Cafe Heifer, which we were uh, at in Amsterdam. But I thought I would try a new segment with you guys, just doing it here on the quick cam, just doing it loosey-goosey. Um, I thought I would do a new segment here called Pretest. And what this is, is for instance, tonight with our charcuterie platter, I am going to be serving some uh, different meats and such, but I'm also going to be serving some prepared things. And one of the things is going to be a mustard. You got it here. Tell you guys about that in a minute. I'm also doing um, a, a jarred Greek salad, as they're calling it here. It's from Poland, and the mustard is from Germany. But so let me tell you about this uh, pretest section that I'm going to be having going here first. First of all, um, I want to tell you guys that you can be involved with this. And for your involvement, the first people to send me an item, boom, will get to have their very own tea towel, tea towel with uh, your everyday Santa sent out to them. Um, here's what the deal is. Uh, you'll see down below in the comments that I will put my address up there and I'd like to do the testing of these different products for you guys tell you about them um, tell other people about them what you love and uh, let you know what's going on I guess so here's the deal so um, Send me a product. Send me something that you enjoy at your local store. Tell me about it. Tell me who you are. Tell how much it costs and perhaps some uses for it in case it's in a different language that I don't understand. Um, I can figure out most European languages. Asian languages are a little bit rougher. But So here's the deal. Send me something in the mail and I will give it a review like you're going to see here today. And I will send you a tea towel. Now I'm going to do this for the first 10 people that send me something. You can send it to my P.O. box. And if it's going well and I can get some more tea towels, um, I will keep on rolling. So let's get to it. So today we're going to be making the charcuterie platter. And I just wanted to tell you about um, some products that I'm going to be putting on there. This is not supported by anybody. This is just me. I go to the grocery stores and I find all kinds of crazy stuff that I want to try and I want my friends to try. So I thought I would try them on camera for you guys. So let's get to it. So the first thing we have here is it's by um, a company called Kuna. It's K-U-Umlaut-H-N-E. It says here. Maybe you guys can see that better. There we go. It's a prepared mustard and it's from Germany. Um, the ingredients, just to let you know, uh, it is water, mustard seeds, spirit vinegar, which I don't know the difference between regular vinegar, wine vinegar, salt, sherry vinegar, sugar, and spices. I love it when they put spices. They don't actually tell you what's in it. So let's just do this here. And um, uh, this was three ninety nine, and I believe I bought this at Alpine Village down in Torrance, which is in L.A. Alpine Village is like a German market. I love to go there because I love... This kind of mustard, can you guys see that? It's kind of like with seeds, there you go. So, and it also has these these little um, sealing tapes on it, I think are kind of funny. Let's see if I can see, there you go. All right, so let's break this open. Oh, no snap, but it is sealed. First smell, oh, it's a little bit sweet. It's not what I was expecting. Um, let's give it a little taste. Just get a little bit of mustard here on a knife. And I don't have a problem with this, and it has to be a cracker. It's really good. Um, first of all, I love mustard. Um, it has a little bit of a crunch to it because it does have the whole mustard seeds. If you guys can see the whole mustard seeds. Um, I thought it was going to be sweeter. It smells sweeter. But it's uh, quite delicious. It's, it's kind of creamy. I'm going to go for another taste. Yes, I stuck my knife back in. It has lots of seeds. This would be really good on cold cuts. Um, it's not yellow mustard. Don't be thinking mustard like yellow mustard. This is a hearty German kind of mustard that goes on a sausage. You just want to put meat. Um, I would totally buy this again. I thought it was a bit pricey at $3.99, um, but it is really good and it is imported. So Okay, so I give this a thumbs up. Give the mustard. Next product that we're trying today that's going to go on the charcuterie platter. Um, this is called Old World Greek Salad Traditional Recipes with No Preservatives. Um, I want to say I got this at like a pick and save or something like that. 
because the label's kind of weird, but it's uh, $3. There's a whole jar of veggies. I love pickled vegetables, if you guys can see that. Focus. Um, the, it also has serving suggestions, which I'm reading directly off here, which I always love to read this. This is made in Poland. Yes, product of Poland. Right here, little flag. But I love the serving suggestions. It says... Chilled Greek salad can be served straight out of the jar as a side dish for your dina. There's an R missing from dinner. Dina table. Pair it with breaded fried fish and mashed potatoes for... No space. Potatoes for a traditional dinner. Anyway. All right, let's give this one a try. I think I've had something similar to this in the past. Ooh, fresh. And have a little fork here. I'm just going to try one piece off the top just to see. So we got a pickle. Oh, it is totally not sweet at all. Um, it's not sour. It's not like a bright dill. It's just kind of lightly pickled. I thought it would have more flavor. It, it actually needs some salt or something. I was looking for the ingredients for you guys here. It says cucumber 35%, carrot 8%, red pepper 8%, onion 4%, water, vinegar, sugar, and salt. All right, let's give it one more try. Maybe a little one out of the juice. Mm. It's okay. I can't say this is one of my most favorited items. Um... It needs more salt, and it needs, needs to either figure out if it's going to be sweet or sour. Um, I think what this would be really good on, um, if you made like a, a meat sandwich, like a bologna or something light, something light flavored, not, you know, salami, and put some of this on there with there as the, as the salad, maybe squeeze out the juice and put this on there for a little bit of crunch. It's not really crunchy, but crunch. Um, it's okay. This one's all right. All right, guys. That's enough for today. I just wanted you guys to see um, a new segment that I'd really like to get going here. I love to try new products and I want to share them with you. So remember, if you send me a product, I will send you a towel. And I suppose if you wanted it signed or something crazy like that, we can do that too. But tea towel for you. Um, silk screen, you can either use it or hang it on your wall or use it as a little skimpy bikini or something. I don't know, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed this little review today. And I want to be your pre-test Santa as well. Thanks, you guys. Have a good one. Bye.